in just about any sport, St. Francis can be expected to contend for league or even state titles. But for the last two decades, the football program has fallen behind. The Knights are coming off a season with more head coaches than wins. But as Joel Sebastianelli tells us, there's optimism for a fresh start that builds on tradition. Everybody starts the season undefeated, but not everybody starts the season with hope. St. Francis has won just 46 games since 2010. They've had five coaches in the last four seasons, but before the ball has even been kicked off, there is a bond on Bancroft and hope has been restored. Coach Leakey coming in, the whole scheme, like the whole program is literally so much different. And I, I just feel like with, with him coming in, like I'm excited just to play this year. It's actually giving me some excitement to actually get on the field. This used to be a chore for a lot of kids when it came to the football program here. It wasn't they didn't they didn't enjoy it, and I think now um, we've got a we got a unit that's really buying into that family aspect of things. Josh Linke joins the St. Francis family from Otsego, where he was the head coach for the last two seasons. The Anthony Wayne alum stresses aggression on defense and a disciplined offense that leans on second-year quarterback Corey Swartz while establishing the run. Playing with pride begins by approaching each day with pride from the top down. It's another new system. It's another guy preaching different things to us. and. How do we know to trust this guy? But I think we've done a good job of earning their trust. And I told them when we got hired that we've got to earn their trust just as much as, you know, um, we want them to trust us and, and, and trust them. They put their trust in returning playmakers. Seven athletes with starting experience are back on defense, eight on offense, including the QB, already seeing the benefits of a revamped environment. A lot of coaching, Coach Linky is doing a really good job of um, just helping me learn how to read defenses and, uh, Coach Redkowski was my last true quarterback coach, and he did a good job, but that was my freshman year, and that's like really all I learned. And now that Linky's here, he's helping me a lot with reading defenses and know where to throw the ball, when to throw the ball. He'll still have top targets for Heem Brown, Drew Tucker, Bo Thomas, and Austin Urban to throw to. Springfield transfer Eli Beal gets added to the backfield, coming off a sophomore season with 700 yards and 10 TDs. His new team made a positive impression from day one. We actually had a uh, winter program for the first time and since I've been at St. Francis. I got here, uh, I saw guys in the weight room working hard. Uh, like when we go to film, they pay attention. Like we just click. And if the guys get ticked during practice, that's another sign. This team is picking up new competitive habits. I know that as a captain, I need to bring the energy that some people may not bring and they feed off of it and I see that and that kind of helps the defense kind of lock in. It gives them a reason to come after me and the offense and gives them a reason to stop. Especially for the upperclassmen who have stayed true to the red and blue. The goal is to start changing the program's perception and finish strong. Our job is to make sure that these seniors go out the right way, make this a, a program that, you know, these seniors are proud to leave and want to come back to when they are gone. We owe them that. With the Knights, Joel Sebastianelli. Brother! BCSN.